Live from News Channel 8, your news at 5 starts now. Glad to have you with us. I'm Brenna Rose. A bill to combat domestic violence by holding abusers accountable has passed through the House. Senate Bill 1211 will now head to the governor's desk. News Channel 8's Lauren Henry joins us now live with more on what those stronger penalties are. Lauren. Brenna, the author of the bill, Representative John George, says that it was written with Oklahoma's staggering domestic violence statistics in mind. And if signed into law, it would raise the maximum sentencing of those convicted of strangulation or attempted strangulation of intimate partners or household members. Strangulation is a very, very serious crime, yet it had the lowest maximum punishment of any of our violent crimes. According to the Training Institute on Strangulation Prevention, a woman who has suffered a non-fatal strangulation incident is 750% more likely to be killed by the same perpetrator. The nature of this bill in general shows how important we do want to take domestic violence and how we want to do what we can and the ones that don't seem to care, then we, yes, we need to lock up. Senate Bill 1211 addresses that issue head on by raising the maximum sentencing from three years to 10 for any person who is found guilty of strangulation or attempted strangulation of an intimate partner or household member. Tracy Lyle, the CEO of Domestic Violence Intervention Services, says that this legislation is sending an important message. I think this bill sends a message to harm doers that um, they're going to be punished uh, if they strangle someone and that this is not that violence is not okay in, in um, relationships and particularly strangulation is not okay in relationships and it is it's very dangerous and um, it can kill it can kill someone pretty quickly. Representative George expressed the bipartisan support the bill has received so far. And even if across the aisle, I mean, I, I think everybody understands strangulation is a very violent violent crime, you know, portrayed on, on, on your your family or your partner. And again, the, 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 the chilling part of it is, is how often it leads to death later in that relationship. And the bill is now at the governor's desk waiting to be signed. For more information on domestic violence resources, visit our website at ktul.com. Reporting live on Lookout Mountain, Lauren Henry, News Channel 8.